Hi and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Emma and I do Slimming World at Home, hence my name on YouTube. <laughs> um, I've just filmed a Primark on Pineland and B&M hauler. So if I'm in the same clothes, that's why. Uh, I'm not sure which one's going to go out first. Um, so let's talk about last week. Just scored the stuff off my cart, which is great. Last week I lost two pounds, and I was good most of the week. Let's see, I can't remember. So let me see. Last Tuesday, which was the twenty-first, and um, I was on seventeen cents because I had a big roast for dinner. I was absolutely gorgeous. Um. Why have I not added that up? So Tuesday, yeah, I was slightly over sins, two sins over, which doesn't really bother me because uh, I do quite a lot of walking. So on Wednesday, one, two, three, four sins, which was good. Thursday was nine sins. Friday was seven sins. Saturday I had the bop which who was it was it Lorraine said to me it was nine and a half sins so actually I was on I was under sins on Saturday which I actually thought I was going to be over because of the bop so the bop was nine and a half cents and I was on three and a half cents. So that's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 cents. I had not sorry, so that was good. So it's good to know that um, a bop, a nice flowery bop is nine and a half cents because sometimes you don't want a homemade bop because a homemade bop does not taste the same as a big, nice flowery bop. <laughs> so yeah, it was good to know that it's only nine and a half cents. Well, say only nine and a half cents, but if you only have that and a couple of treats, whatever, it actually isn't too bad. So, yep, yeah, I ended on... What did I say there? 13 cents. Sunday, I was on three and a half cents and the pie, which I could I didn't know, know how to send because Ned had um, got the ready rolled pastry. It was puff pastry and then he used the condensed soup chicken soup for the creamy sauce and things so i was probably over sins on sunday yesterday was the same i had leftover pie and potatoes and all this but so it didn't know and then i had a bit of cake and a caramel square last night so that brings me up to today so i was over sins probably sunday and last night which wasn't too bad considering I had hit my 30, my, my glasses are stinking. Excuse me. They're still stinking. They must have spray or something on it. They are not cleaning. I hate dirty glasses. <laughs> I'm just in from town there, so that's probably why. Where the, I don't know, pollen, not pollen, dirt and stuff. Yeah, I hate seeing through seeing glasses which are absolutely stinking because it does my head in. So that's a bit better now. Not that you'll see any difference because it only me see it. Um so yeah, I think I had 35, 36 mile on Sunday. I did post it on um Instagram. So I'm just looking out there. There's a church bar which I never seen before, so that must be Moira. Interesting. Not that you'll have any interest, but anyway. I absolutely, I look <laughs> an absolute mess today, I have to say. And I feel an absolute mess. I feel, I've got a sore ear. And now and again, my head goes all like, 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 I don't know. Like you can't walk, not that you can't walk in a straight line, but it goes all like dizzy or something. I don't know. I think it's coming from here. Um, and I feel like I haven't had any sleep last night, but even 
Alex said to me this morning, she says, are your eyes all swollen up? So they probably are. I'll have to get some cucumbers and put them on the orange. Um, so yeah, I hit my 30 mile target. So it was either 35 or 36 mile, I can't remember, but I posted it on Instagram on Sunday there. And I don't think there's anything else exciting to tell you. So I don't, um, did I try anything new? Well, apart from the chicken pie, but Ned always make well, not always, but he makes chicken pie every now and again. But it was the first time he made it with chicken soup and rolled out pastry, because usually he makes his own pastry. So it was quite nice. We are having a kebab tonight, because we were going to have a Chinese last night, because it was Ned's birthday. But there was chicken pie there, and I said, we'll just have it. So we just hate, need to heat it up, because... It was already made. There was leftover potatoes and broccoli and all the rest of it. So it was just a matter of sticking it in the microwave and that was it. So tonight we're having um out of the kebab place. Because our Chinese is closed on Saturday or Tuesday. Which is quite annoying because you'd think they were closed on Monday. Because you're going to have to do the cook the stuff up on Monday. Then they're closed on Tuesday and then they're closing. Then they're open again Wednesday, which doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway... We're having a kebab tonight because the Chinese is closed. And I don't know what to have yet. Fancy a burger? No, I don't know. I don't know. I'll see what I'll, I'll look at the menu and see what I'm going to have. But yeah, we're having that tonight. Um, is there anything else to tell you? I don't think so. I think I still have sleep now. Um, maybe I need another cup of coffee. Yeah, I might have that on after I finish this. It is. What time is it? It's ten past twelve. Um, we'll have lunch soon, so I might not have a cup of coffee. But yeah, I feel like I need a cup of coffee. I do talk crap, but anyway, this week I is the last weigh-in of February, and I wanted to be in my thirteens. I did not hit that target, but I didn't do too bad. I lost two pound this week, which I've just scraped the zero off or part of that zero off, but yeah, it does say 14 stone. So I'm not, I'm annoyed, but I'm not too annoyed because it's not far off 13 in the 13s. So yeah, I have still 41 pound to get back down to my target again, again. I have been there for a short while. Yeah, so annoyed, but not too annoyed. So I'm 14 stone exactly. So hopefully next week, actually, do you know what I'm going to have? I've just filmed this, so I'm going to have a wee vimto, which is free because this is the uh, it's a vimto zero. Excuse me. Cheers. Yeah, I think I need to wake up a bit. So yeah, hopefully next week I get into thirteen. I would like to lose two pound again. So that's, I lost two pound last week, two pound this week, which is good. So how much did I have? I lost in February altogether. Well, let's see. So the first week. In February, which was the 7th, I had lost £2 the previous, which was the 31st of January. Then I put on a pound, then I lost a pound, and then lost £2, and then lost £2. So, because I put on £1, and then lost it, I don't count that as a loss, because it, you're just in the same, the same. Um, so I'll put £4 down, if you know what I mean. I know what I mean in my head, but... Let's see. So the first week I put on a pound, then I lost that pound. So I that cancels that out, so I don't class that as a loss as such. So then two two last week and two this week. So I'm gonna class that as a four pound loss in February. Could have been better, but it wasn't. <laughs> so there's not much I can do about it now. It's done and dusted. Um how many weeks is there in March? 
So there's at least four probably wounds. So I hope to be well in my 13s by the end of March. So that's that'll be my target for the end of March. I would like to lose six pound, shall we say? Six pound March. So yeah, hopefully that happens because I really want to get in my 13s. I'm starting to feel I think it's with the walking as well because I walk my friend she works on Monday and Tuesday and usually sometimes usually a Wednesday as well but um I think she works late on Wednesday she tells me this all the time but she, she'll know that I'm in head like I said anyway so I'll not remember so she always works Monday and Tuesday so I always do my own walk on a Monday and Tuesday didn't walk today because I was in town as I said but I've hit I'm at 6,786 steps at the month I have to go and get Alex from school so I might not hit my four thousand or my ten thousand steps today, but I will tomorrow because I'm walking with a friend tomorrow. Um. So yeah, as I was just saying, my not this hair bra because this isn't my sports bra, but my sports bra that I usually wear whenever I'm out walking, I can notice it that it has got a bit looser on me, which is good, and things are starting to firm up a bit. <laughs> should we say um, I can notice it around my back and stuff you don't really notice your back has fat on it until you kind of look for it you know that way um, I can notice that my back isn't as fat as it was <laughs> um, my belly I hadn't I thought I had lost weight this week because whenever I was bigger my belly didn't jiggle as much <laughs> because there's much there's a lot of fat on it. But I have noticed over the past couple of weeks my belly has got a bit wobblier. So I need to go and try and do some stomach exercises to try and firm up a bit. I have had three sections which makes it a bit more difficult. Because obviously they cut through all the muscles and everything on your stomach whenever you have your section. And I find whenever I was doing my stomach exercises the last time. Yes it did firm it up a bit. But there was still the overhang there. And there was still like a good bit that you could grab onto. So I'm not really that bothered about my stomach. To be honest. I'm not. It would be... More my arms, I think I'm more, because I do have like wobbly arms, and that was even whenever I was to hit target and blow target, that was still there. Um. Yeah, I just, I just want to fit into my clothes that I had bought, my jeans and stuff that I had bought before. Uh, as long as I can fit in them, I'm okay. I, whenever I went on holiday and all last year, I did wear a bikini because I was like, I'm never going to see these people again, so I really don't care what they think. Um, and you get a good tan, and you get a brown belly. Not that anybody ever sees my belly, like, but it's nice for me to see it brown. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't wait to we go on holiday next year. I'm really looking forward to going to sleep for two weeks. I went to sleep whenever I was about 18 or 19, I think, the last. Well, I've only been to sleep once. So that was about 16 or, or no, it was about 18 or 19 because my friend, he turned 18 whenever we were over there. So I'm about the same, I think I'm slightly older than him. Um, so it was about 18 or 19 or something whenever I went. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, we're going bed and breakfast. We're going to go inclusive, but they bumped the price up a thousand pound between two days or three days. I think it was, it was a Tuesday I looked at it and it was like 2000 something, 2100 and something all inclusive for next year and then whenever I booked, went to book it on the Friday they had upped it a thousand pounds so I was a bit pissed off with that so we're just going bed and breakfast this time but see whenever you go to the shop and all the rest of it you get rolls and stuff I don't healthy whenever I go on holiday by the way um I would eat fruit and stuff but uh yeah it goes that and goes out the window whenever I go on holiday but it's a year away so I'm not really that bothered about it yet so yeah if you are going on holiday this year, get the belly out, get your bikini on. Nobody is ever going to see you again whenever you go on holiday. So, and everybody is that concerned about how they look. 
they're not looking at other people. So if you're going holiday this year, try your best to get the, to the closest target as you can and go and get yourself a bikini. I only brought bikinis, so that is what I had to wear. <laughs> um, there was no going back after that stage. So yeah, I brought, I think it was four or five bikinis. I went to, whenever I went to New York last year. Um, yeah, just do it. So, yeah, that is me rattling on. I am going to go and get my lunch now. Try and waking up a bit because I feel like I don't know why I'm so tired at the minute. I really don't know. Is anybody else like this? <laughs> Please tell me so. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go now and go and upload this video, go and get my lunch, which you'll see later on. If you're just here for my way and update, I'll see you next Tuesday. And if you're here for my what I eat in a day, I'll see you later on. Keep your fingers crossed for me next week that I'm into the 13th. I really want to be in the 13th next week. Uh, tonight, as I said, I will be having kebab and I will be having maybe cake because there's not much. I only made a small cake because I don't want so much left over. Aaron and Ben came last night, so I give them a, a slice each. So then I think there's like a quarter of a cake left and Ned hasn't had any yet. So hopefully Ned and... I'll just get it finished off tonight. I'm going to have a caramel square though. Definitely. So yeah, that is it for me today. I'll be slightly over since today, but anyway. It's my treat day today I'm going to have. And I'll be walking with my friend tomorrow. And I'll be walking every way. Every day, apart from Sunday, because I work all day on Sunday. But yeah, next week, hopefully I'm in the 13th. Keep your fingers crossed me and I will see you later. If you're going to weigh up, if you haven't already weighed in this week, good luck. Hopefully you get the loss that you want and I'll see you later next week for my weigh-in update. Bye.